Hello friends, this video on conservation of plants and animals part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. But unfortunately, there are certain threats to biodiversity. Even we, if we agreed that yes, we should conserve biodiversity, but there are certain threats. And unfortunately, these threats are because of us, that is human beings. So human beings pose the greatest threat to biodiversity. We ourselves feel that yes, we should conserve biodiversity because human beings are considered to be the most intelligent species existing on earth. So we know that it is important to conserve biodiversity. But at the same time, we are the ones who are putting biodiversity in danger. How? Have you ever seen that most of the forests are being cut down because of human needs? So it is the main cause of cutting down of forests on a larger scale is due to human beings because human beings need trees for various purposes. We, we utilize the wood from the trees for building furniture, for constructing houses. We sometimes clean the entire forest, we cut down the entire forest to set up an industry or a factory there. Now sometimes we also want to cut down the forest for many other needs because we use plants and plant products for various purposes in industries and in factories for food items so there are many uses or there are many ways we, we utilize plants so this cutting down of forests on a large scale is really really bad so this makes us sad so when you get to know this, you feel that, oh no, that's bad. Because I felt that conserving forest was very, very important. But now what I see is, people like me, they are only cutting down trees and that's how they are reducing the number of trees. And that is going to be a threat to biodiversity. So this cutting down of forests on a very large scale is known as deforestation. So deforestation is one of the most important causes which threaten biodiversity because with deforestation we are actually ending up we are directly cutting down the trees so we are directly reducing the number of plants so that is how we are impacting plants now when we cut down huge forests then a lot of animals in that forest also are going to end because they lose their habitat. So we are going to talk about deforestation in more detail now. We will see that why deforestation happens, how can we control deforestation. So we are basically going to deal with this entire problem of deforestation in this lesson and then we will see that what are the various ways by which we can conserve, we can protect various plants and animals. So let us now talk about deforestation in detail. So what is deforestation? The name says deforestation. De means something which is opposite of forestation. Forestation means development of forests. So cutting down forests is deforestation. So it is permanent destruction or conversion of forest areas for other purposes. Now what would be these other purposes? So these other purposes could be establishment of industries and factories for various purposes. It could also be for utilizing the land for agriculture so that more and more crops can be grown to feed the growing population. It could also be for development of residential apartments because when the population is increasing for the demand for, of people are also increasing. People need more food, people need yes, their shelter. So the needs of the people are also increasing. Now to meet the needs of the people, what is happening is the forests are being cut down. Now when the forests are being cut down, that we are causing deforestation. And these defore this deforestation in turn has many harmful effects which are again indirectly harming us. So if you talk about India, so in India, it is supposed to be now what it should have been and what it is there is a lot of difference between the two so if you see here the green portion denotes the area in india which was covered by forest and the blue area denotes the area which is not forested so this is how it was i mean in this case almost 30 percent of the land was covered by forests and this was the situation in the beginning of 20th century. 
So beginning of 20th century, 30% of the land area was covered by forests in India. Now what happened towards the end of the century, that means after within 100 years, after 100 years what happened, instead of forests increasing, now when your forest area increases, that means plants are increasing in number, your greenery is increasing. Now increase in plants is good for the environment. But unfortunately, by the end of 20th century, what was seen was that the forest area, the area covered by forest reduced to 19%. So earlier it was 30%, now it reduced to 19%. Now you can imagine if it keeps on reducing in this manner, then after a couple of centuries, there will be no plants left on this earth. Now when there will be no plants on earth, we, it is very obvious that other animals will not be able to survive. That's because animals depend on plants directly or indirectly. So if plants don't exist, the animals will not be able to exist. So this tells us how serious the problem is de of deforestation is and it is gradually taking place. I mean, with each year, the number of plants are continuously reducing. Now, forget about the condition of India. If you look at the policy, which is called the National Forest Policy, so there is a policy like this which tells what should be the area that should be covered by forests for the benefit of the environment. So as per this national forest policy, it says that 33% forest cover should be plain, should be present for the plains, that means for the plain areas. And for the hilly areas where you have a lot of fields, like in India, if you look at the, the states like Himachal Pradesh, if you look at Kashmir, so there you have more of hilly areas. So for these kind of hilly areas, what should be the amount of forest cover that should be 67% and for plain areas, the forest cover should be 33%. So if you look at the actual scenario, you will see that even at towards the beginning of the 20th century, the forest cover was only 30% which was not meeting the law or which was not meeting the requirement of national forest policy and towards the end of 20th century it reduced all the more so anyways towards the beginning of 20th century also it was not meeting the requirement of not national forest policy and that too with time that number also is continuously decreasing so this is disastrous because whatever has been suggested by national forest policy we should try to meet that Instead of meeting that, the number is already less and we are reducing the number all the more. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.